if you are following math channels on youtube then you must have seen this human calculator guy in asia's got talent there he performed really amazing mental maths and in the semi finals he performed a trick that he called the calendar problem in which he found out the day of the week from the date given to him and in this video we will learn that so let's begin So hello geniuses welcome to this another video in math genius mental math series now before learning the main method let us learn its simpler version so that you can get a feel of how this trick works so in this simpler version we will figure out the day of january 1st of any year in the 21st century so how we are going to do it first thing is that we need to associate a number with the days of the weeks like this So it's pretty simple like 1 is for Monday 2 is for Tuesday and so on. The only thing you need to take care in here is that 7 and 0 are both associated with Sunday. Okay? Now let us calculate the day of the week of January 1 2030. So the trick is really simple. Take the last two digits of the year. See in here we have 30. Now consider it to be your bill at a restaurant. So let's say we have a $30 bill. Now we need to add 25% tip to it. Okay, so first we need to calculate 25% of 30, which is really simple. See, half of 30 is 15, which is 50%, and half of 15 is 7.5. So we need to keep the change. Don't give the change. So we have seven dollars tip. Okay, seven dollars tip. So keeping the change simply means that you don't need to include points or anything. Okay, so seven dollars tip. So our bill is basically 30 plus seven, which is 37 dollars. Now we have seven days in a week. So divide it by seven. So seven fives are thirty-five, and we have a remainder two. Now this two is basically the code which is associated with the name of the week. So two was for Tuesday. So at January one, twenty thirty, it will be a Tuesday. Now as an exercise, try to calculate the day of the week of January one, twenty forty-three. Now in this simpler version there is just one exception whenever there is a leap year you need to subtract $1 from your tip let's take an example january 1 of 2032 so first let's calculate 25% of 32 so 32 divided by 2 16 16 divided by 2 8 now this is a leap year so subtract $1 from it so we have 7 Now our bill is basically thirty-two plus seven, which is thirty-nine dollars. Now simply we need to divide it by seven because there are seven days in a week. So seven fives are thirty-five. So we have four, and four was for Thursday. So at January one, twenty thirty-two, there will be a Thursday. So see how cool is this? Just from the date, you are calculating the day in seconds. Now practice with some of the dates and if you are comfortable with this simpler version then move on to the next advanced version of this trick. Now this advanced version of this trick works by assigning codes to days, months and years and the date itself is also a code. So the only thing difficult in this trick is the month codes because you need to remember 12 numbers associated with 12 months okay but there are some mnemonics for it given by sir arthur benjamin so the first thing that you need to do is look at this table in this table there is this month and there is this code number associated with it and with that there is a mnemonic given to it read it and try to associate these numbers with these months and remember that for leap years the code of january is 5 and the code of february is 1 now you can just pause this video and try to memorize this if you have done this then congratulations now you can fluently do this trick now the second thing that you need to memorize is the day code which you have already memorized this simple day code now every year is also associated with a code but that we can calculate really easily So firstly I will teach you how to find the year code of any date between 2000 and 2099 that is in the 21st century. So to find the year code of this it is really simple you have done that before calculate the 25% tip of this x thing. This x thing is basically the last two digits. So what you need to do is this x 
plus x by 4. So let us do one exercise. Calculate the year code of 2061. Do it yourself first. So half of 61 is 30.5 and half of 30.5 is 15.25 so our tip is 15 dollars now add this to those two digits so 61 plus 15 so left to right method 71 plus 5 76 now we have 76 now divide it by 7 dividing by 7 is really important so 7 tens are 70 we have a remainder of 6 now 6 is the year code of 2061 now remember in this one you don't need to consider that leap year exception now let us see this trick in action calculate the day of the week of march 19 2061 now what you need is really simple see we know the month code we have memorized it the month code of march is 2 the date is 19 add this to which is 21 now add the year code in this like we have 2061 we have calculated this which is 6 so 21 plus 6 is 27 so basically you need to add all these codes together all three codes okay so now basically divide this by 7 so see division by 7 is really important so 7th is a 21 and the remainder is 6 now this is our day of the week so 6 is associated with saturday so on march 19 2061 there will be a saturday now what about the dates between 1900 and 1999 it is really simple do the problem exactly same just add one to the year code and you will get your answer so let's take an example march 19 1961 the same thing but 1961 this time so basically our year code would be 6 but now we need to add 1 to it so it would be 7 so our total would be 28 so san was a 28 so we have a remainder of 0 and 0 is associated with sunday so it was a sunday on march 19 1961 now for the dates in 1800s we add 3 to the year code and for the dates in 2100s we add 5 to the year code now what i have told you this for 1800s we add 3 to the year code for 1900s we add 1 to the year code for 2000 we don't do anything and for 2100 we add 5 to the year code now we have the power to calculate the day of the week of any date for these four centuries okay now the most interesting thing in here is that the gregorian calendar repeats every 400 years okay so if you can calculate for these four you can calculate for any date so see it's really simple march 19 2361 would have the same day as march 19 1961 because there is a 400 year gap between them similar to march 19 2761 so with this you can convert any date to a date near 2000 for that you can calculate and this is only due to the fact that the gregorian calendar repeats after every 400 years so now i have a question for you calculate the day of the week of september 14 1752 so it was a Thursday on that day and at this day the Gregorian calendar was adopted. So if you go on this site and calculate the day of the week of September 14, 1752, you will get a Thursday. But if you put September 13, 1752, this site gives an error. This is because at that time there were 11 days skipped. So this calendar problem trick only works for the dates from September 14, 1752 after till any date in the future. Now if you want to calculate the day of the week before these dates, you need to consider that 11 day lag. And that is why while performing this trick, most mental mathematicians ask for birthdays because hopefully there would be no one in the audience who was born before 1752. So now with this, you can calculate the day of the week from any date which is one of the most impressive mental math tricks out there so i hope you have learned this trick and thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything